Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Harry Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. It is the month of December 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This has been a wonderful, wonderful year so far. And um, we are ending the year. The I want to say thank you for all the people who have subscribed to us and who has um, donate. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, subscribe and donate and I want to say to each and every person whatever the situation is whatever is happening you need to understand that love is the only thing that is real thank you for the supports all you Aries and um, you know I I uh, because the monthly readings are long ones I need to break because we just had Thanksgiving yesterday and I'm doing this I'm trying to finish them off um, today and um, I had to do a break because uh, the energies that was coming up and now I'm starting again with you guys and it is uh, a wonderful um, positive positive energies that are coming up for you Aries so it's going to be extremely good okay um, what is happening I have never seen such wonderful energies um, coming up since um, for everyone and what is so good with you Aries is that there is um, there is because nobody else had the energy of the, the dualities there's dualities playing in a lot of other signs but for you guys you have twice two times eight and you have two times two and they're right beside each other and um, and opposite to each and, 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 and above each other so um, I've changed up the energy vibration reading um, and you will see the cards because now I'm showing the cards because I think it's very important um, to see also the cards okay so I want to say thank you to you Aries for supporting my channel the whole year of 2017 thanks to my old subscribers thanks to my new subscribers the energy vibration here is good for you guys in December it's good positive things you also have the energy of openings new openings coming in first thing we're going to look at is that we have um the energy um that you be working with in this month because you're a fire sign is the quest of energy the quest of energy because i'm using the slow land deck because it is a christmas deck which i always use in the christmas period christmas season and this is wonderful so we're using the Snowland deck and this is going to be a positive, positive energies for a lot of people in a lot of situations. So let's look and see what is going on because good things are about to begin for you Aries. So this is wonderful news. The angel we're using because I'm getting back the angels in my reading. It is very important that I use the angels in my reading. And this angel um, is coming through with the... Um, it's from the unicorn deck and we have Archangel Raphael which is governing the month of December so you can call upon Archangel Raphael for healing and blessings and um, whatever materialistic things you need you can call upon Archangel Raphael okay so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be good I'm looking straight because <laughs> I'm looking outside so um, if it looks as if I'm looking a bit from the camera and looking outside because it's um, it's not such a wonderful day but it's nice to see the greenery outside because I've changed locations okay I'm using the snow deck as I've said and you have the six of uh, um, the six of sword because this is the energy of the six of sword so um, you're leaving certain things behind in December because the month of December has the energy vibration of a hair sign also you are a fire sign and it's a hair sign and it's new beginnings so a lot of new beginnings are coming up for you I can see this because you have a new beginning in prosperity in your material world you have victory and success you have exhilaration in motion so a lot of things are going to be coming in uh, fast 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 but good things and you have emotional withdrawal in the fourth week but we're going to look because you're leaving a lot of things behind this is going to be your energy for this month leaving a lot of things behind and new things is about to begin for you guys so this is good I'm working also with the unicorns and you have the the number 22 energies and you have the energy of opening so new doors are going to be opening for you and this is going to be good and the openings is 
a new door is opening up for you and this is wonderful so whatever that was happening in your life whatever blockages there were there is such an, an uplifting that is coming and all these blockages are going to be moved away from you and there is going to be positive energies coming through okay so this is good this is wonderful news if you have situations with your house and that sort of a thing work new doors is opening up for your work um whatever that was playing whatever that was blocking you if you were looking for work or if you were looking for a specific work you weren't getting through um in this month of december it's going to happen for you because what is happening is that because of the new doors of opportunities that are coming in for you guys this is going to be good whatever is happening you have a victory and success and a justice so whatever the blockage was because the blockage is on there you have triumphant and um the balancing of the scale so whatever the blockage was uh, that is going to be um removed away from you because once you have triumphant and you have the energy of justice whatever the blockage was it's going to be in the reverse form so um you will have nothing um, um to worry about in the third week a lot of you that the and and and, and this is so strange what is happening for you Aries because the first week is the energy vibration of emotion the second week and the third week is the energy vibration of fire and the last week is the energy vibration of emotion and you guys are going to be very emotion secrets are going to be coming out you have the two of uh, the two of pentacles in the fourth week but we're going to um, explain this further but your lucky streak seems to be coming out in, <laughs> you know, your lucky streak seems, to, especially in love, if you're looking for love, if you're looking for your twin flame and soulmate, that is going to come out in the third week. This is wonderful. This is positive. You have the energy of the star and a lot of victorious and triumphant and a lot of exhilaration. If you're looking for a new house, a new place, a new apartment, this is going to be happening for you. So this is good. So. Let's move on and look at the cards. Okay, so um, we are going to look at the cards. So I hope you can see the cards. So let's go and look at your first week. Your first week is a week of emotion, but this is good emotion because your materialistic prosperity begins and this is a month of beginnings. So um, this is the energy of uh, um, prosperity begins so whatever that was blocking your flow of prosperity prosperity is uh, that which you need that which is in your blueprint if you're meant to win the lottery you're going to win the lottery that sort of a thing it's the prosperity that the universe that which you need to survive on this planet in the first week it's going to come up and you also have the four of pentacles which is wonderful this is a wonderful energy with prosperity because that is saying that whatever your financial situation is it's going to be yield and become balance and the energy of the star is here which is letting you know that all that you need you need to call upon your angels and guides in the first week of December because the prosperity whatever your materialistic need are is it that you want to buy a new car is it that you, you want to move is it that you want to go on vacation is it that you need furniture is it that you need whatever you need to survive in the first week this is going to be very good so you have the ace of prosperity which is um, wonderful and then you have the four of Pentacles which is the four of your materialistic needs you're going to bring balance to your money and your materialistic world your financial world and the energy of the star is your guides and angels are coming in and the spirit world the universal beams are coming in to bring that to you so this is going to be extremely wonderful okay so let's look at the second week another wonderful the only major arcana um, no, you have two major arcana. You have these two major arcana. And this is what I'm saying to you, Aquarians, that to you, Aries, sorry, to you, Aries, that a lot of stuff is going on for you, Aries. A lot of stuff, a lot of triumphant and victory, because this is the second week 
and you have triumphant. So whatever you were dealing with, you're overcoming this and you're being triumphant over this and whatever is happening, justice is here. So if you had a lawsuit, a legal suit, a lawsuit or whatsoever, you are going to be triumphant and justice is going to prevail for you. So whoever these people were and these energies and situation were that was blocking you they're now in the reverse form because the first energy you have is triumphant victory and success if you didn't have such a situation what is happening is that new things movements movements are happening whatever that was unbalanced whatever that was injustice whatever that was not being honest is it's being healed at this moment and whatever the blockage was is in the reverse form and this is wonderful so this is another positive energy for the second week i'm telling you guys you have like one of the best best readings as we look at the third week the number eight please be aware 88 and 22 is going to be uh, 28 88 22 28 82 okay you guys are the first one who has gotten these numbers so again 2 8 28 22 88 82 okay it's very important for you to write down these numbers third week you have the energy of acceleration in motion that means things are going to be happening in your life at speed 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 um if you were applying for a job a lot of it, 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 a lot of uh, interviews a lot of people are going to be connecting you um, to ask you if you are still available a lot of motions a lot of stuff will be coming at you so for you Aries it's going to be a wonderful positive week in the third week what you also have the third week is and write this number down eight two and two eight two and six eight two and six in the third week eight two and six work with the numbers eight two and six whatever the energy is i'm supposed to give it to you here we have the number two so new doors new doors new um if you're looking for work it's going to be in the third week a lot of work is going to come to you a lot of people are going to be calling you are you still looking for work we have vacancy a lot of people in the second week this is just going to be pumping and pumping in and this is going to be good what is happening is that you're going to have good contracts you're going to um, connect with good people these are going to be good contracts and also if you're looking for a love relationship if you're looking for a relationship this is going to come in in the third week if you're looking to find your soulmate or twin flame this is going to come in the third week as I have said you Aries have one of the best best reading ever because I had to stop to see if it has to do with energy vibration because the last couple of days energy vibration was very high was very strong I felt it on Wednesday it was so powerful and now you're having like one of the most beautiful read it in this week remember the number is eight two and six if you are looking for your soulmate or twin flame the third week a lot of you are going to meet people new people in your life and they're going to become your significant half and this is going to be um very good okay let's move on to the fourth week another number eight so this is so positive this is so wonderful the fourth week is going to be because it's the last of the month it's going to be a, a week of resting um it's a time of uh, emotionally you're you're unloading yourself of all these emotional stuff that has been happening to you you're healing yourself you're releasing all the emotional stuff that happened in this year for you and you're releasing yourself of it okay so be aware of this that you're going to feel emotional drain in the fourth week it's an emotional week because it's the end of the year it's okay just go ahead energy of the two of pentacles is here no need to worry about your financial situation um, some people will be also receiving message about your financial um, situation you know and that message is going to be a good message because it's going to say you know um, you know your financial situation is going to be better some people are going to realize that um, they have a salary increase 
uh, or some people are going to realize that you know they had extra savings that they weren't aware of this is going to come in so not to worry about any financial thing in this week whatever that was blocking whatever financial flow you have it's no longer here um, you are going to see the secrets are going to come out and secrets are going to come out about work um, some people at work some secrets are going to come out about situation that happened in your house secrets are going to come out about something that happened in the family in the last week secrets are going to come out and you're going to be at an emotional loss it's as if you're going to receive message that your partner um, did something that was injustice to a family member that sort of a thing and you are going to be so emotionally broken because um, it's as if you're going to think oh my god how could my husband or wife did that to my family member um, it can be that you're going to find out that there was a situation in the family and um, at Chris in the last week someone is going to tell you something about something that your partner did um, some of you are going to find out that your partner had extramarital affairs some people are going to find out that your partner was not being very honest but it has to do with um, and it has nothing to do with kids or kids in your family no the secret is going to come out about something in the family and it has to do with your partner your partner did something some people are going to find out about marital extramarital affairs and that sort of a thing and some people are going to realize that um, your husband or wife did something to either your child or your sister or brother or a member of your family and you're going to be very surprised this is going to give you an eye opener and you're going to feel so sorry that this happened to this person it's as if you're going to think oh my god but she never did anyone or he never did anyone anything why would my husband be so cruel to my own family my own blood so this is going to give you an eye opener at the last week of this month it's going to give you an eye opener because you're going to find out that your partner either it's you know you're in a relationship for a very long time with someone but you're going to find out that your husband did something to a family member that could cost your family member their lives or a situation in their lives and you're wondering why would he have done something like that to, to your family member so this is going to um this is going to be very emotion emotional because you know you're going to be so embarrassed that you don't you're not going to know whether or not you should um say to um your family member because you're thinking oh my god um this person have never done me anything this person has been so kind to me and despite you know whatever happened that my husband could do something like that i'm so embarrassed okay so and it's not even it's not husband it could be your wife have done something cruel to your daughter or your stepdaughter or but it's it's, it's as if um, either your husband or your wife did something to the opposite family members so let's say you are the wife you're going to find out that your husband did something to your family member okay which is very very bad and you're going to feel so bad so that is going to give you an open eyes because a secret is going to come out in the first in the fourth week but not to worry because there are going to be new beginnings and I would say blood is thicker than water if you realize that one of your partner hurt your family member you need to think about yourself because if they they if they do it to your family member they will do it to you also so this is an eye-opener for you um, not to worry um, it's as if you're being protected and it's as if the universal angels and God wanted you to find out about this it's like he's gonna say something or someone is going to say did you know that your husband or wife did so and so to our family member and you're going to say what I didn't know and they're going to be upset with you and you're going to feel so embarrassed but it is a wake-up call it's as if your angels and guides and I'm seeing for some people the message came through someone from out the family 
because this person see the injustice that has been done to a, another family member by someone who is not in the family someone who marry in your family so be aware of this uh, the, uh, apparently this is a very important message for you Aries okay let's look at your love reading to see the star you have two times the star so you know whatever is happening and if at the end of the day and you have two four um, seven of Pentacles so see whatever is happening there the blockage are lifting up money is going to come in to you some of you are going to meet some uh, victory and success okay this is wonderful and you have new beginnings uh, doors are open up this is the twice because you have a hair also so you have the two of ones you horrify a sign this is going to be good this is going to be promising a lot of people you're going to be meeting new people and having a um, new relationship a new beginning in um, your relationship is going to come in so for the people who found out that your partner tried to did something to one of your family member that was not being honest someone new is going to come in your life okay so let's look at love what is love is happening for you you have twice the stars so a lot of you who are in positive relationship people who are honest because that's what I was saying before is people who are not honest it's as if people who married to someone because of something or people who married to someone but um, is not being honest to um, that person and it's as if sometimes you are married to people but you you know you can see somebody face but you never know what's in their heart and this is what is playing out it's as if for the people especially for the people who are in positive relationship that people love each other on a 50 50 percent or people are working hard on their marriage and wedding this is going to happen in the first week because um, by two people working hard um, as you see how the whole week is is that prosperity is going to come in with this prosperity you also have the energy of the four of ones so you're building together your financial situation and by doing that it's making your relationship becoming very healthy because um, um, the financial aspect um, that affect people relationship can, can can have a huge effect on people relationship so for the people who are working um, you know together with their partners and that sort of a thing you're going to see this positiveness coming out in the second week um, whatever that was happening for the people who got divorced and that sort of a thing um, maybe or the people who had divorce uh, people that relationship ended and your partner alimentation that sort of a thing child support that sort of a thing maybe the amount of money that you were expecting because it's all about the materialistic because relationship comes in different different aspects and this is what it's going to affect most people in the second week is that the blockage that you have in a relationship because this is definitely for people who got divorced and the divorce is finally out but the amount of money that you wanted you're not really going to receive that but um, take what you um, take what comes to you okay that's all I can say take what's come to you third week wonderful week a lot of you a lot of you if you are looking for a relationship with your twin flame or soul flame this is going to come out and a lot of you people are going to meet someone who has money so if you were looking for someone who is materialistic who has money you are going to meet this person in the sec in the third week so and you know some people can say yeah it's not really the money but that's not true sometimes people lie to themselves it's not really money yeah I'm just looking for my for love it's not really the money but yes when you need you need love and money because it's a hurt form thing one don't go without the other anyway if you were looking for a twin flame or a soul flame relationship you are going to meet this person in the third week and they are financially stable so that means if you were looking for someone who can um, 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 you know connect with you and um, and also 
in the monetary aspect so it's love and money so you're some people are going to meet people who are rich or um, have a, a good financials to bill and some people are going to re meet their true real love and this is good um, as we look at the fourth and final week which is this row um, whatever the secret that is going to come out because obviously it's the two of pentacles and the emotional thing whatever the secret is going to come out about your partner you are going to triumphant at the end because you have the energy of the sword okay so whatever truth comes out you are going to use that truth as your sword so you can use it to say you know how could you do this but um leave it because at some day down the road you are going to have this information to use so you know sometimes you can learn of something that someone does your partner and you don't you, you know you don't say anything because you're so you you felt so bad because you're thinking oh my god how could he or she have done this and then you keep it to yourself because you're so upset because that person did something to affect one of your family member and I'm, I'm i'm getting this very very strong that this person is going to be so upset that she's going to think i'm going to separate my the way i feel about you because if you did that to someone in my family what would you do to my kids or what would you do you know to my sister or my brother and it could be someone who is a little bit out of the family but yet still this person did something to them and you the love that you have for this person you realize that this person who it's as if you see something about your partner that you're thinking whoa oh my god i didn't expect this to happen okay so whatever the situation is hold your secret to yourself because down the line the information that you're going to receive about your partner you can use it at a later date but at this moment do not use it do not say anything deal with your family member whoever the situation um, at effect deal with that family member you know um, treat them with kindness and respect whoever told you this information whoever told you the secret of what happened um, keep the secret as they told you but know when to use the information against your partner okay because this information is good information that you're going to need to use against your partner so be aware of what is happening um, not to worry because this is as if um, if you had a parent that is um, deceased is as if your whoever your parents and if you had both parents that is deceased they want you to know that whoever you are in this relationship or whoever you're married to is not a nice person and this is why the secret had to come out so that you know who you're dealing with it's as if they're giving you a fingers up so let's say that you were thinking oh I'm gonna buy a house with this person or I'm going to go and live in a house I'm going to get myself in um, financial problem to help to solve my husband or my wife problem don't do it because the secret come out so that you will be aware of what this person is and who this person is because it's not really a very nice person as we look at this I'm hoping that you can see the energy on this side is that there is going to be a lot of doors of opportunities that are opening in love in work in relationships okay a lot of new doors you're going to get a new keys for people who are looking for a new house buying a new house this is going to happen for you the key is here a new door is opening and the keys is here especially for work and homes it's going to happen for you guys and a new beginning a new portal a new way is opening up for you aries okay we're going to look at the zodiac sign and first we're going to look at the sun sign of the aries and then the moon sign of the aries i hope you can see the cards so let's go right in it to see 
what is going to be the zodiac energies for the Aries and what is going to be the zodiac energies for the sun sign and the moon sign. Let's first look at the sun sign to see what's happening. And for the sun signs, you have to deal with the Librans. And this is um, so true because here we have the energy of justice and the Librans balance the scale out. So whatever that has happened, whatever that has transpired in the lives of you sun Aries and who are the sun sign Aries is the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. This is wonderful because what is happening for you sun sign Aries is that the scales is going to be balanced out. So if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., what the universe is doing is balancing out the scale. So a lot of people will have an effect that um, you're going to receive information about your partner. And this is balancing out the scale because maybe they were making you look bad or feel bad. Now you are seeing who they were, that they are even worse than how they were making you feel, eh? especially if you were born in the day. Okay let's look what else is coming up we have the virgos coming in to help you aries okay we have the virgos coming in to help you aries so um it could be um the virgos no but the virgos coming in to help you aries in a legal situation okay or you could be helping someone who's a virgo in a legal situation because i'm seeing stuff here and it's as if that person is not understanding stuff and you are coming in to help that person be aware what you do don't get in any um legal situation for somebody else because um you never know um sometimes you're trying to help people and you know they would never do it for you so be aware of what is happening and um, that is a message that is coming out okay we're looking at the moon sign people who are the moon sign people is the aries who were born between the hours of 6 p.m and 6 a.m so look and see what is happening you are going to be, oh my god this is wonderful this is wonderful you moon people the energy of your own energy vibration is here so a lot of you aries are going to find your soulmate in the third week a lot of you aries are going to find your soulmate in the third week and some of you who are looking for someone financial abundance is going to come to you whatever is happening because that is the week of christmas by the lottery you aries in the month of christmas by the week of christmas by the lottery the third week of december by the lottery it's going to be good you have twice the star you have the soulmate card which is good and this is going to be positive so um by the lottery let's see what else is here for the moon sign you have venus so yeah yep it's is saying exactly what i thought okay this is good for you aries because what is happening is that the energy the love energies are in the two and last week okay more more prominent in the week of christmas it's like it's as if the energies of love is going to be blooming and um, some people who are going to realize and find out the secret and the secret is going to come alive you are going to use the secret but use it in a good way because whatever is happening um, you Aries is going to vibrate so much powerful love you are going to attract to you so let's say um, let's um, bring the camera up let's say you Aries you know was so disappointed because the fourth week is going to be a very emotional week because you're going to find out something about your partner and it's going to be very emotional so let's say that you you know you found out something about you know it's as if your spirit guides are going to move someone else in your life someone help that that is going to bring a healthy um, balance to who you are because obviously this person whoever this person is um that you know did something to a family member that you're really just realizing what has transpired um it's as if the universe is going to bring someone in your life that is going to replace them so 
let's see how this month because this month is ending good with you know things are coming out it doesn't have to be with relationships and that sort of a thing but a lot of secrets are going to be coming out in the last week but all these secrets that are coming out is going to bring a new beginning because this secret is going to let you know that I can't trust this person um, how you know or I can't trust the situation so for some people it's going to be such situation for some people it's going to be people but whatever is happening there's a new key there's a no, new door a portal that is going to be opening up and this can be for work for some people this can be that you're buying a new house this can be that you're moving in a new house um, for a lot of people but yet still a, a newness of work home um you know it can be a rent house it can be an apartment a rented apartment or whatever or it can be a new house so in the month of january you know because you're ending this you're finding out secrets so this is telling you be aware so let's say you were going to buy something with someone or you're moving in with someone be aware because you have received information that something is array okay for the rest it's going to be a wonderful month a positive month two times the star this is just really really positive this is good this is um positive a lot of um emotional situations but yet still a lot of fastness things are going to go fast um prosperity is coming at you you're going to be victorious and success with whatever lawsuits that you have whatever injustice that you have it's going to be a powerful month for you aries this is one of the best reading for december i want to say to each and everyone please like share these videos um listen to your sun moon and rising sun go back and listen to the month energy vibration because maybe there are um, information in the month and it's not in your reading your month of December is going to be very positive I want to say to each and every person love is the only thing that is real we need to forgive ourselves and forgive other people and I am saying we will speak in the month of December um, Merry Christmas Happy New Year 